I'm Eugene with Diacon. This is a typical radiation shield that you may see on weather stations. It consists of a stack of plates. Through the middle of the plates is a hole, and a temperature probe of some type or humidity probe inserts from the bottom. This is a, a very high mass device. In this case, this is constructed of uh, plastic material. Other radiation shields are constructed of powder coated aluminum. Overall, the mass of the radiation shield far exceeds uh, the mass of the temperature probe. So the response time of the whole structure of the temperature system can be rather slow. The radiation shield also acts only in a passive mode, so as long as there's wind blowing through it, then any radiant heat caused by the sun is minimized. But once the, once the wind slows down, then the uh, air around the temperature sensors can start to increase in, in temperature. With Diacon, we took a, a slightly different approach. We constructed a, a low-mass radiation shield, so it's a very tight stack. Our temperature sensor is also much smaller and shorter than what you'll find uh, among competitors. The radiation shield acts similarly in a passive mode, where air flows past or through the plates of the radiation shield. We also have uh, an exhaust system, essentially, in passive configuration, air flowing through over the T on the end of the mounting pipe creates a slight venturi which draws air away from the temperature sensor. We have uh, a number of features incorporated in our temperature sensor which other systems don't. And we not only have temperature and humidity, but we also have barometric pressure. So this reduces the component count that the industrial user is expected to install and maintain. It reduces the overall system costs and provides additional data on, from the same sensor that you wouldn't get from a, other systems. In addition to the passive operation of the radiation shield is an active component. Um, you can see the temperature sensor sits inside of this uh, probe housing. But we also have this space, this duct around the temperature probe that allows for an active configuration. In this case, we have an, an aspirator module that sits atop the radiation plate and uh, mounts in a similar fashion to the passive configuration. This aspirator configuration can be upgraded in the field. So it provides an airflow, forced airflow, that's drawn from around any heated air that might be affecting the temperature and exhausts it away from the temperature sensor. So this further in, ensures that we have an accurate representation of the ambient air temperature and humidity. If you have any questions, please check out our additional videos or give us a call.